<laughs> Hello. Um, I'm outside right now. Yeah, I'm outside, as you can tell, by that loud-ass dog barking. So if there's any barking, any birds chirping, any um, unnecessary noise in this video, I deeply apologize because I need to get this off my chest. Like, I legitimately do. As you guys do or maybe do not know, Kanye... Oh, my God. Shut the fuck up. I'm not in the mood for you right now. Shut up, my nigga. Shut up. Kanye has recently said that slavery was a choice for Africans and African Americans. Now, at first I thought, oh, this is taken out of context. Maybe he said something the wrong way or maybe it was exaggerated. But no, I just got finished watching the interview and that's basically what the fuck he said. I hope that wasn't a B. Um, Kanye, I need to let you know something. I really need to, like, I really need to let you know. Oh my God, there's a fucking B. Oh my God. Um, I love you. Well, I did love you, but now I, I don't know how to feel about you anymore. Um, this really makes me so sad because Kanye West was one of my favorite people on earth because he was just, he, he, he's not necessarily, I'll wait. Okay. Kanye was not necessarily the greatest person you could look up to. But he was someone I could look up to because I can relate to him. His music inspired me. The way that he presented himself inspired me because I kind of, pre I kind of pre present myself the same way. I could be controversial at times. There are things that I've said at times. Why is there a fucking bee here? I swear to God. I got to go to a new destination. Um, This bee is like following me. And everybody got time for that. I ain't trying to get stung while I'm making this video. Um... So I just want to let you guys know, I'm very hurt. And I know you may be thinking, this fucking dog's over here about to get on my last arm. I love dogs, but like, I'm not legitimately in the mood. Um, this really hurts me. It really does, because I don't know how to feel about this. I This isn't the Kanye, this, this legit, the same Kanye, okay, that said over a decade ago that Bush doesn't like or doesn't uh, benefit black people, which I agreed with because I thought that he did it at one point. I thought that Bush wasn't, didn't like black people. I thought Bush wasn't helping black people. So I agreed with Kanye on that, even though a lot of people didn't. But I agreed with him. This is also the same Kanye that at one of his concerts was talking about, fuck the government, fuck the police. Yo, fuck the Illuminati. The Illuminati is out here trying to get us. I got that. I understood that. And I fucking loved him for that. Now I'm hearing this bullshit talking about Kanye West supports Trump, which I was neutral about because if you support Trump, I personally do not like Trump, but if you want to support him, that's probably me, A-OK. -okay. Um, but for me, I could have dealt with that. I'm like, okay, a lot of people don't like Trump, so this nigga lost a lot of respect. That's fine. I personally don't feel, well, me, um, whoever your political views are, you know, that's your choice. I ain't got nothing to do with that. So I said, okay, I'm going to still continue supporting him. Okay, okay. And then about a week later, more than a week later, I pull up on Instagram talking about Kanye West has said that African Americans had a choice whether to do slavery or not. No, nigga, they didn't. What do you think slavery means? Oh, hi, he's so cute. What do you think slavery means? So I don't know how to feel right now. Like this really, I was crying earlier. And you're probably thinking, why the fuck are you crying over a celebrity who doesn't even know who you are? Well, I cried when David Bowie died. I cried when, um, I just cried a lot when my favorite celebrities do something or they die or they do something wrong. Because you have to admit, a lot of people don't tend to do this. You have to admit when one of, you, like one of your favorite celebrities is in the wrong. Like, you just have to. You can't defend them Well, you can, but you, but there, but people are just so, how do I put this? People are so in love with these celebrities that if they even kill somebody, they're going to be like, oh, but he's just a shy baby. You know, he would never do anything like that. But here's the thing, nigga. You don't know them personally. So when I heard that Kanye said this bullshit, I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't get this. And that's why I believe that Kanye is under the influence. And I'm actually thinking that someone forced, is forcing him to say these things. 
because what black person that I've never heard of says that slavery was a choice? I'm pretty sure Kanye's great, great, great grandmother didn't have a choice. Just letting you know. But yeah, um, I don't know what else to say except I'm really, I'm really disappointed in Kanye. I really am. And I don't know. I'm going to support his music. You know, when he releases a new song, you know, I'm still going to be jamming. I'm still going to be bopping. I can't stand that term, a bop. I can't really stand that term. But I'm still going to be supportive of his music. But him as, like, an artist or as a person, I can't really, I don't know what to do. Like, I really don't. And this breaks my heart. Like, it really does. And I'm sorry my voice is kind of um, lower than usual. I'm very sick. And I don't feel very well. I have a, a very sore throat. I don't know where I got it from. Oh, the dog's running around the yard. It's so cute. Um, but yeah, that's how I feel. And um, please let me know how you feel in the comments. Uh, try to be respectful. You know, I'm respectful. I'm very neutral when it comes to things. It may not seem like that on my YouTube, but I am uh, in real life. I, I try to be neutral. I try to be a uh, 50 50 but please let me know how you feel because i think personally that kanye is under the influence and you know this is i just feel this is something that the old kanye 10 years ago shut the fuck up these kids these badass little kids it's time for to go to bed it's like 76 here go to bed like fuck anyway um that's how i feel um, I was I was still supportive of him when he supported Trump because you know I can't really stop him from doing that. But like saying some bullshit as like slavery was a choice, like it wasn't. Don't know what to tell you. Um, this I don't know if I'm gonna keep this video. I'm probably not. I'm probably gonna keep this up just for a little bit. Um, yeah. This fucking bird's chirping, so I think that's a cue for me to end this video. Um.